Hi everyone, welcome back to Peru. In this episode of Lost in the Americas, we're heading to the Sacred Valley. Of how soon a name, as you'll see. The Sacred Valley is about 30 minutes away from the city of Cusco. It's about 100 kilometers long and it is breathtakingly beautiful, full of rivers and mountains, but more on that later. The Sacred Valley is mostly famous for its archaeological Inca ruins, namely Machu Picchu, one of the seven wonders of the world. I'd love to show you Machu Picchu, but COVID-19 has ruined it for us. Get it? Ruined the ruins. <laughs> it's been super disappointing, and I was really looking forward to doing the Inca Trail and visiting Machu Picchu. But the pandemic has come to teach us that sometimes life has other plans. That said, slowing down made it possible to visit things that we surely would have missed. A perfect example is the small town and ruins of Pisac. On a hill above the town of Pisac are the ruins by the same name. We trekked up to the hill and we were astonished when we first saw them. To me, they look like a mini Machu Picchu, just like the photos. It was incredible to be there. And because of the traveling restrictions, we were absolutely alone with the ruins all to ourselves. It's amazing how the Incas managed to make these whole palace-like buildings on top of these high mountains. Look at these cool buildings. Of course, they lost their roofs a long time ago, but I think it makes them even cooler. The Sacred Valley is nestled in between the famous Andes Mountains. As you might have guessed, mountains and my family usually add up to some pretty cool treks. Yep, there's hundreds of walks in the Sacred Valley, all different and beautiful. There's treks to viewpoints and also to lagoons. We visited a particular lagoon a short drive from Bisac called Quinza Cocha. It might seem like a strange name to you, but that's because it's in Quechua, one of the native Peruvian languages. Quinza in Quechua means three, since there are actually three lagoons there. And Cocha means lagoon. Quinza Cocha are three lagoons with towering mountains above. Really spectacular. We even got to go in a little boat on a tour in the first lagoon. It was awesome. And I jumped into one of the lagoons. Yes, it was absolutely freezing. But it was very fun and a cool new experience. Those treks to lagoons brought us to some tiny, high altitude alpaca farms. Really cute and interesting. We were super lucky that the exact day that we went to do the track, they were shearing the alpacas, which happens only once every couple of years. So we found this little farm high up in the mountains, and it just so happens that today, they're actually shearing the alpacas. It's really interesting to watch, and you didn't hear the cries in the background, but don't worry, they're not getting hurt, they just get a little scared. Isn't it fascinating? I expect you saw all that wool that they sheared off the alpacas. So what exactly do they do with all that wool? Well, some of it ends up as traditional alpaca wool clothing. We made friends with a family that is starting a 100% eco-friendly alpaca clothing company called Pacabamba. Aren't these products cute and so warm? On the description below, I've left links to Pacabamba and some really cool places we've been able to visit. Check them out! The folks from Pacabamba also rescued some neglected horses. And for more than a month now, my sister and I had lots of fun volunteering to help take care of the horses. Every morning we brush them, feed them, and take them out for walks. It was amazing to watch as these horses gained confidence in us and grew stronger and healthier. My favorite was this horse called Piccolo. As you can see, I absolutely loved the Sacred Valley. We got to enjoy nature to the fullest. Trekking, swimming, kayaking, paddleboarding, and meeting incredible people and making friends along the way. I never, ever wanted to leave, but reluctantly, we must get on our way. The next episode, we'll be leaving the Cusco region and heading towards the coast. Many more adventures.
Oh wait. Can't wait to see you again.